What's up guys, my name's Brandon and last week I made a video showing you guys nearly 20 of my favorite series shortcuts at the moment and if you missed that video, it's up in the cards and down in the description right now. But anyways, in that video, I showed you a few of the automations I had set up to perform certain tasks based on my location or a trigger that basically just happens without having to press a button or talking to Siri in general. And I had a lot of people ask me questions in that video and on social media, how I create these automations and how they can create an automation for themselves. So that's exactly what this video is going to be explaining how to do. I'm gonna be showing you how to create your own automation in the shortcuts application to make your life easier. So this might be a pretty long video, so let's not waste any time. Let's just go ahead and get into these automations. So first things first, automations are only available on iOS 13.1 and later. So if you are still on iOS 13.0, you will need to update to see this automations tab down here inside of the shortcuts application. And essentially automations are just shortcuts that run automatically when certain parameters or certain triggers are met. For example, you can see my triggers right here on my daily driver device where I have these set up and you can see the triggers for all of these. So I have a trigger for when the time turns 11 PM. I have a trigger for when my wake up alarm is stopped. I have a trigger for when I arrive at a certain location and I also have a trigger for when I connect to CarPlay. So those are all examples of triggers you can use to start automations inside of the shortcuts application. So the point of this video is to show you how to make your own automation. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing you want to do is down in the automations tab, you should see this right here. Unless you do have an automation already set up, you'll see a plus up in the top right, but you should see the screen right here. If you don't have any automation set up, and you can see here, there are two different options. So we have create a personal automation, and we have create a home automation. And you can see the difference between these two is for this one right here, the personal automation, it says create an automation that runs on a personal iPhone or an iPad. And the home automation is for an automation that works for everything in the home. So if you have HomeKit enabled devices inside of your home, like a thermostat or lights or your garage or whatever, you will want to definitely utilize the home automations. But for this video, I'm gonna mainly focus on personal automations. I will touch on home automations near the end, but I figure that most people will want to just know how to do the personal automations. So that's what we're gonna start with. So to start, just go and click on the little blue button right here. And this is where you choose your trigger. So what do you want to happen to lead to something else? What's the initial trigger? What's the initial parameter that you want to start this automation? So is it a time of day? Is it when an alarm goes off? Is it when you arrive somewhere? Is it when you have an NFC tag when you scan an NFC tag. And in my top series shortcuts video, one of the automations that a lot of people seem to like was the morning routine one, where it basically told me the date, it told me the weather and things like that. So we're gonna use that for the example in this. So obviously the trigger for that is going to be when my alarm goes off, because that's basically when I get up for the day. So we're gonna go ahead and click on alarm and we're gonna have this set to when it stopped and we're gonna have this set to my wake up alarm. So that's basically my bedtime alarm. You can also have this set to any alarm or existing alarms and you can choose whichever alarm you have right there. But I'm gonna do it to my wake up alarm. We're gonna go to next. And this is where you go to start creating the actions based on that trigger. So this should look very familiar if you've ever built a Siri shortcut uh, itself, not just the automations as a shortcut in general, it's the exact same interface right here. And I did also make videos on how to create Siri shortcuts as well, not just automation. So if you missed that and you wanna see a little bit more detail as well, I will have those linked down in the description as well that you can watch after this video. So all you wanna do is click on add action and that will pull this up right here. Now there are a lot of things to choose from and I actually like to search for certain things as well. So basically the first thing we're gonna search for is text. So we're gonna search for text and we're gonna go ahead and pull in the text right here. Now the point of this is we're gonna write what we want Siri to tell us in the morning. So we're gonna do something very simple. We're just gonna say good morning and then your name and then we're gonna say today is and we're gonna have it say the exact day. So let me just go ahead and type that real quick. All right, so you can see here I typed in good morning Brandon, today is and this is where we're gonna put in the current date. And to get that current date, we can either click on variables right here and we can go down here and find current date or you could just start to scroll over right here and you will see current date right there. Just go ahead and tap on that and now you can set the date format. I like to have this as short and I like to have the time format as none. That way it just tells me the month and the day and not the time because I pretty much already know what time it is once I turn my alarm off. So we're gonna go ahead and click done on that. So now it says good morning Brandon, today is and then the current date. And if we press play, it shows us a preview of what we have. And as you could see, we didn't hear anything from Siri. And that means that we need to add a talk or a speak action. So let's go ahead and click on the plus right here. We're gonna type in speak and you can see here speak text. Now we're gonna speak that text right there automatically does it. So now when we press play, 
as you can see, it tells us and it speaks out the text that we just typed right there. All right, so we know the current date, but we also wanna know what the weather is gonna be like. So let's go and click on that plus again to add the next thing. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and type in weather, or you can actually just click on apps right here. And these are all the apps you can see actions from. So we can also click on that and then click on weather. And now it will show you the things you could do with the weather application. So we're gonna get get current weather. All right, so you can see it pulls our current location already. So it says get current weather at current location right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and add and we're going to add another speak text or actually we're going to add a text and then to speak that text let's go and click x right here and we're going to just go ahead you can go to documents and then go down to text text is right there or again you could just search for it all right so you can see here i typed in the high for today is blank and the chance of rain is blank so now we want to fill that in with the current high and the current precipitation chance right here so what we want to do is go to the space right there where i type that and we're going to go down here to these variables and you'll see weather conditions go ahead and tap on that and we want to scroll down until we see the high which is what i have set right there and you can see right here it says get the high and i have it four degrees fahrenheit right there now we get, want to go to the chance of rain click on weather conditions again and then scroll down until you see precipitation chance right there and then done and that's pretty much it so now we need to add a speak text once again so that we know to speak that text or so that our phone knows to speak the text that we just typed in right there and now let's go ahead and press play So there you go. That's a good little informative shortcut that goes off when your alarm goes off that basically tells you the date, the high today, and the precipitation chance. Basically just things that you would want to know when you first wake up in the morning. You can also have this set if you want to read off like reminders or something like that. You can go ahead in here and search for reminders. So if you have like a to-do list and things to do, you can add that there as well. So Siri can read off like the certain things, the certain tasks that you have to do today. There's a lot of things you could add in here to customize it, but this is just a very bare bones, a very simple little shortcut, a little automation to tell you the weather and the current date. Now, if we go to next right here, you can have this set to ask before running. I like to turn this off. And then you saw it gave you a little warning right there. But for this, you definitely don't want it to ask you before running. You want it to go off right once you turn your alarm off when you are waking up. And there you have it. Once your alarm goes off and you press stop, this automation will run automatically. Now, if you do get an error, you wanna go back in here and go ahead and change the voice of Siri. So when you have the speak text right here, you may wanna change that to something like Samantha or something else because sometimes with the regular Siri female, it will mess up and give you an error. So that's just something you can try if you are getting an error or the automation just doesn't go off by itself. Now let me show you guys some other ideas for automation. So let's go ahead and create another personal automation. And then let's say when we connect to Bluetooth. So when we connect to our, let's just say when we connect to our AirPods, we want to listen to a certain podcast. We want a certain podcast to play right once we put the AirPods in our ears. So once we have that, let's go ahead to next. Let's go to add action. Then we can just go ahead and search for podcasts and see what our options are. So you can see here, you get all these options for podcasts. So what I wanna do is I want to play a certain podcast. So we're gonna go ahead right here and we're gonna fill in exactly what podcast we want to listen to. So you can see here, I have all these options of podcasts to play. Let's just say we want to play DFS MVP right here. It will play that automatically once we put our AirPods in. And if you wanna customize this a little bit further, you can change like the volume or something like that. So if we go ahead here, and go to volume, we can go into set volume, and you can turn it to a specific volume that your AirPods will play. And of course you can enable other things as well. If you don't wanna be disturbed, you could turn on like do not disturb or something like that. And you could just set whatever you want so that when you put your AirPods in, it will start playing this podcast, it will set the volume and things like that. So let's go ahead to next. As right, so you can see there, we did just connect to our AirPods and I did get a pop-up. As you can see right here, it says when iPhone connects, play podcast and set volume. And you will have to tap on that and run. And you can see it does start playing the podcast right there. Now this one does not run automatically. There's no option to run it automatically, unfortunately, when you connect to Bluetooth. So you will have to manually press on the notification right there to run it, but it's very simple and very easy. And like I mentioned earlier, you can do it for NFC tags as well. So when you tap on an NFC tag or there's an NFC tag nearby, you can have it run certain actions for that. You could say things or play a certain playlist when you connect to CarPlay, which is one of the best automations I have set up currently. And I showed that in my top shortcuts video. And I also have this other automation set up right here so that when I arrive at a certain place, the action is to send the payment. And that's basically when I go to get my haircut, it automatically sends the payment once I get to that location. So those are just some other ideas 
of some automations you can set up. And hopefully you guys can get some ideas from this. Also, if you go to bed at a certain time every night, you can do like time of day and you can have it set to turn do not disturb on and you know certain things like that read off your reminders read off your calendar just to make sure you have everything set and before i go off of the personal automations i just wanted to give you guys another example of something you could do i'm just going to go into this one and show you guys the scripting right here so this is basically an if this then that statement so you can have certain things like if right here so if something matches this condition then certain thing happens otherwise something else happens so this could be a little bit complex if you don't know a lot about scripting and you know creating shortcuts in general i talked a lot more about this in my initial shortcuts video tutorial on how to make advanced shortcuts again if you missed that that link for that video is down in the description below but basically you want to use this if you want to have certain things happen based on other conditions and of course you can also move things around inside the shortcuts application by just simply tapping on them and holding and you can move things from side to side and i'm not going to go any further into explaining this only because i already explained it before and also i just wanted to tell you guys that it's actually an option available so if you're confused just watch my previous video i just wanted to mention it just to let you guys know that it's also in here to play around with but now i want to go back and show you some home automations because a lot of people are starting to have home kit enabled devices smart homes and things like that so this can be very very beneficial and very useful and very cool to you so we're going to go ahead and click on create home automation right here and since i don't have very many things set up in my house i don't have a lot of home kit enabled devices uh, i only have like the home pod so for this i only have three different options but if you have more things set up inside of your home application you may get all of these so the automation i want to set up is when i arrive at home i want my home pod to play a certain song or a certain playlist so we're going to do people arrive so whenever i arrive at home you can set right here the location to home or anywhere else that you have set up in your phone and you can also set it to a specific time but i'm going to keep mine to any time right now let's go ahead to next all right so you can see there i have the home pod let's go ahead and click on next and then you can see all of this right here now we want to go down to audio and want to play audio and now we can choose what audio we want to play so go ahead and tap on that we'll just go to our library playlists and let's just say we want to play the 2019 playlist right here and we want to play the whole playlist not just one song so let's go ahead and click the plus right here we'll turn shuffle on and repeat on and go back and then click on done and now we have the automation set up so whenever i get home it starts playing that playlist and if you want it to stop when you leave just do the exact same thing except for when people leave right here and when i leave home there you go stop let's go ahead and click on our home pod right here and now we want to change this to let's just do pause audio go back and there you go just pause audio right there when we leave and resume playing when we arrive home now of course if you have the thermostat and the lights and things like that and the doorbell everything controlled via home kit you will have a lot more that you can do with these automations and one thing i think that's really cool that you could do if you have the thermostat is you can have it set so that when the weather is a certain temperature your ac will turn on to a certain temperature depending on what that temperature is outside so for instance if you have a script set up so or an automation set up so that when it's 80 plus degrees outside you will have your thermostat set to 71 or 72 but if it's lower than 80 degrees it will keep it at like 74 or 75 that's just a little idea of something you could possibly do for a home automation if you do have the thermostat set up inside of your home application and you can see here when i set up those automations on my other phone they automatically populated in here because i do have the same apple id for both devices so that's pretty cool that they do transfer over to your other devices at least the home kit ones do the personal ones do not so that is a basic overview of the automation tab inside of shortcuts on ios 13 i hope this video did help you out a little bit hope you learned at least something new if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you guys have any questions if you're having any errors or anything let me know down in the comment section below you guys know i love helping you out and responding to you down there so if you have any kind of issues at all let me know and i will do my best to help you out and also let me know down in a comment below some of the practical automations that you have set up currently because i'm always looking to add new automations to my library create new automations so if you have any good ideas for automations let me know down in the comment section below and i may even feature you and you know shout you out in my next video where i show off my favorite shortcuts and automations but anyways guys thanks again for watching the video and i'll see you soon